Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and welcome back for some more U4 Nation Speedforming, where I put my skills to the test and try to form nations as fast as I can. Last time we did several smaller nations, and today we'll be focusing on Siam starting as Lan Zhang. It's technically easier to do as Ayutthaya, but with Leviathan, Ayutthaya's ability to form Siam is locked behind one of its missions, which takes a very long time to get to, and Khmer is in too weak of a situation at the beginning of the game. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe, because at 25k I will be doing the Mongol Empire or Roman Empire still yet undecided, and if we could get to a thousand likes, that'd be great. So, Iron Man mode, let's begin. Now, forming Siam is very easy as Lan Zhang. All you have to do is take three specific provinces, and then on the way to doing that, you'll probably end up picking up enough to form Siam. As long as Ayutthaya doesn't ally anyone too difficult, then this shouldn't be problematic. Let's start off with our rivals, which will be Lan Na, Ayutthaya, and Dai Viet. We can start off by dealing with our estates, but this time it looks like seizing land is off the table. Well, that's okay. Alright, that should be good enough. I'm gonna need a spy network on you and you. Alright, not a bad general for the first roll. Can turn down the fort maintenance and the army maintenance, and let's get started. Okay, I don't really have a lot of manpower to start off with, and uh, not a lot of mill either. So I'll start off with increased enlistment from the very beginning. And I can turn Wang Fuan into a free vassal, so why not? Okay, we're just about ready, so let's bring up the army maintenance. And the... and the forts. And I can claim this province. And this province. And Lan Na has stacked up a disgusting number of allies, so uh, this should be fun. I hope my air is good at fighting. Yeah, good enough. Alright, let's get started. So, mainly, I'm just gonna be sitting here sieging this fort. Because I don't really have plans to full annex him, I just need a little bit of his land. Because I don't have plans to full annex, I just need two provinces. Speaking of which, I can call this guy in on the promise of land and, uh, well, he's gonna get nothing for it, but... Oh well, not my problem. I think a really good idea would be to go around and try to slap this stack on the mountains there. Sheesh, that's a, uh, pretty good event. Yeah, I'll take it. Wait, is that the AI actually being smart? They're guarding the fort with, uh, other stacks which would have the defensive advantage, which is interesting. I don't know if that's a mistake or on purpose, but it's definitely working. Well, they left a spot open. They're definitely gonna win off of reinforcement, but, uh, at least I'll get a lot of damage done and that'll be nice to see. And let's take out a little bit of debt. And let's hire a couple of merc stacks. We won the siege of Chiang Mai, but god damn, this, uh, this reinforcement's really annoying. Alright, fortunately I had the opportunity to scorch the earth here, so if they wanted to fight me, then that's gonna be on them. Yeah, that wasn't a very good idea, was it? There we go. And that should be good enough. Let me see if I can pick up a stack wipe as well. Alright, now I can pick up a little bit of money, which will help to pay for this entire massive war. But the next war isn't going to be any easier. For the first time I have ever seen, Ayutthaya has decided not to kill Khmer, and instead they've allied them, which is kind of weird. Uh, and same thing with Pangu. For some reason, they're best friends. I don't know why. But yeah, this should be fun. And this time, uh, we have no friends with us, so... This should be interesting. Khmer is still weak for now, so let's go after them. Okay, this is a pretty important battle right here. Looking pretty good, though. Looks like we'll be able to wipe them on this, because I scorched it a little bit. Not bad, they even went in and locked in a second stack, which is oh, a terrible idea. Looking kind of rough, but overall we're doing okay. There we go, now I can ask for nobility and officer core. And it's definitely time to spam some generals. Man, the AI really doesn't get what the whole point of Scorched Earth is, do they? Well, whatever, we can get Khmer out, so let's leave. That puts me on Black Flag so I can surprise a couple of units somewhere. Looks like Ava's willing to actually come to my aid, which is great because they're rather strong, actually. And although it hurts a little bit, I'm gonna have to sell some titles. On top of that, I'm going to have to remove my debt to the merchants and probably ask for it back. Okay, I'm doing something a little risky here today. I've scorched this one province, and I'm gonna use that to lure them onto it. Alright, so far so good. And I can vassalize Muan Fuang, maybe he'll be useful as well. Pretty risky for me to move here, but uh, I do need to grab this province eventually, so... That looks like it got their attention. <laughs> Alright, now run away! 
Okay, that's a good start. A very good start. Now, I'm a little worried about how much war score I can actually take in this whole war here. I think because it's his subject, it's just going to be like regular, but I don't really know. Ooh, we may have someone being stupid here. Let's hope so. Nice. Oof, you love to see it. And number two, and a number three. I just have to make sure Ayutthaya doesn't start building more troops. You know, exactly like this. Well, that was unfortunate. These are the last of the hireable mercs, but if I can get this done in one war, then that's not a problem. There is still one thing I have to do, which is siege this fort right here. I need to calculate how much war score this is going to cost. Okay, it looks like it's a normal amount, which is exactly what I'm looking for, so all we have to do is siege down this fort and uh, wait for enough war score. And for the fun of it, I'll just state this and put on the defensive edict. That should take them a while to get through. Okay, given the difference in siege timers, we should be perfectly fine to take this first. Same thing with any other sieges like the capital. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, Sakatai has been sieged down. Unfortunately, we're not quite done yet, so let's walk around here. And half the men will stick back and siege down a little bit, and the other half will go down to Ayutthaya. Looks like they've been taking a good amount of time on Ava's capital, which is what I like to see. Of course, we can also take uh, Tech 4 now, which is great. And with that, we are just about done. Alright, there we go. We can take all the provinces we need and a little bit of money. Now, this is going to create a uh, rather large coalition, but given the fact that I'm going to have a truce with many of these countries for a long time, I think it's safe to say that we're going to survive it. Yeah, it's a little bit aggressive, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's focus on the countries that hate me and don't have truces, like Prome and Arakan, which is somehow a Theravada Sultanate. Okay. Now, I gotta be honest with you, that was one of the toughest wars I've fought in a long time. In fact, both of them were kinda tough. But now we've essentially accomplished our goal, so I'll see you guys back when uh, we have everything cored. There we go, everything's cored up, and we can form Siam. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Well, I say that, but in reality, that was kind of a, a whole journey there. But there's Siam in just about nine years. The only way this could have been faster is if Ayutthaya didn't ally up with Khmer and Pegu, and if I wasn't fighting uh, five nations for two provinces here. But that's basically up to RNG, so for what I was given, I think I did pretty well. Siam is actually one of those nations that you do want to form fairly early on because you have these uh, really broken ideas that you can pick up, like 10% morale of armies and 30% national manpower modifier. And then, of course, eventually you do get CAV combat, diplo rep, development cost decrease, diplo annexation, tech cost, yearly absolutism, damn, this is actually broken, <laughs> and discipline to top it all off, wow. If you couldn't tell, I've never played a Siam game, so, well, maybe I will. <laughs> and it looks like I can actually form Lan Zhang as well. <laughs> Bop. <laughs> so I guess maybe that counts as speed forming Siam and Lan Zhang, who knows. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to let me know what nation you want me to speed form next. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you disliked it. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to all of the kind people over on Patreon. Starting with those we have in the general tier, Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Ben Greenhagen, Torvald, Dire Avenger, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Snow Raven, Rockbox2020, Robert Kaleno, and Balancer Steve. In the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot and Natsuki. In the Elector tier, we have TFLJ Martis. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have The Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges this month, I really appreciate it, and I just can't thank you enough.